Hi Year 2, for today's lesson we'll be looking at fiction and non-fiction texts. This will help us prepare for, you for tomorrow's lesson in which we'll be, new we'll be meeting our new text. Okay, so first of all I'm going to talk to you a little bit about fiction and non-fiction and then there'll be an activity for you to complete on Google Classroom. Okay, so let me give you a little bit of background to the lesson. So our new text is going to be an information text about rainbows. It's informative. It tells us something, okay? It gives us information. So, what type of text is it? Is it fiction or non-fiction? I would like you to talk to your grown-up and discuss what fiction and non-fiction means. Okay, so pause the video, have a quick chat, then come back. Okay, so I'm going to give you some definitions and some examples to help you understand. So, fiction text is a story that's made up. It's using the writer's imagination. It's not true. It's not real. So stories like Jack and the Beanstalk, The Gingerbread Man, The Three Little Pigs, they're quite, they're not real because the animals talk and like a, a beanstalk grows up into the clouds and there's giants. That's not necessarily true or real. Hence why it's fiction, because it's made up. The story of Bigu is also fiction because Bigu doesn't actually exist. It's a story. The same with this, this book, this book that you looked at with Miss McNichol Edwards, The Day the Cranes Quit. Okay, the, the cranes don't actually talk or move. Okay, they're not real. It's just part of the story. So non-fiction. So non-fiction is real. It's giving us information. Okay, so a book about tigers is giving us information about tigers. This book here, all about dogs and puppies, give, is giving us information about dogs and puppies. It's informing us, it's telling us, okay? This book here, How Do Plants Grow, tells us a little bit more about plants, it's giving us information, and the same with this one about space, okay? Non-fiction is real and gives us information, whereas fiction is made up using the writer's imagination, okay? So using this, our text is an information text about rainbows. Okay, so it's an information text, and it's about rainbows. Is it fiction or non-fiction? Okay, so use these definitions here to help you think it's an information text that tells us something full of information. Is it fiction? or non-fiction. Talk to your grown-ups for me now and pause the video and come back and we will discuss it. Okay, so our text is a fiction is non-fiction. The reason why it's not fiction is because it's not made up, okay, or using the writer's imagination. It's going to be an information text, so it's going to give us information all about rainbows. Okay? So now I would like you to do today's task. There are two parts and they're on our Google form. The task one is, I want you to click the answer, so look at the picture, it will give you the cover of a book, and I would like you to say if it's fiction or non-fiction, okay? So it will mark this part for you and give you the answers, okay? Task two is a little bit trickier. So this is what task one looks like. So you're gonna have these books, and you're gonna say, oh, that's fiction, oh, that's non-fiction, okay? And you're gonna click the right answers. For task two, you're going to write the definitions of the words non-fiction and fiction for the dictionary. So imagine that you're the writer of the dictionary. What would you write and can you give an example? So can you give an example of a fiction book? Can you give an example of a non-fiction book? Both tasks need to be completed on the Google assignment. Okay, and you can just, it's all on the Google form for you to complete. Okay. We will, teachers will be marking this part, task two, because there's a loads of different ways that you can word it and write it. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Let me know how you get on, year two. I'll see you soon.